What's up guys, it's Instinct here, and today I'll be showing you guys how to blend 3D renders into any scene. Now, it could be water, it could be lava. In this example, I did it in water, but it all works the same. You guys can see I did it with the tentacles here, and I also did it with the render here. So, if you guys like how this looks, then be sure to keep watching the video. Now, let's get on with the tutorial. Let me fuck you right Alright guys, so as you can see, I have the same exact stock here, and I have the exact render here. So, obviously it looks a lot better in this one, because I did a bunch of lighting and added stuff in it, but uh, basically I'll be showing you guys how to blend this in. Alright, so first step is you want to position it in like a good spot. Actually, I'm going to make this smaller, just to make it fit better. Alright, so basically just drag it in a good position, and I think that looks pretty good. So, next thing you guys want to do is get rid of any, like, extra stuff. So, for example, I have this spline right here. Um, usually what I do to get rid of those is pretty simple. Just go ahead and get your eraser tool here. Right-click and make sure the heart is at 0%. Make the brush pretty big, about, like, 400 pixels. And just start slowly erasing this. I'll, I'll turn the stock off so you guys can kind of see how I do this. So, just kind of, like, erase it and it will... Fade it right out. Alright, so now what you guys want to do is you guys want to go ahead and select the stock or the background and go ahead and grab the pen tool. Now basically you kind of want to visualize where you want the uh how you want the stock to like overlay it. So since it's kind of an ocean, maybe like a wave kind of like over and kind of like wavy a little bit. So as you can kind of see here, I made it kind of like a wave. So, just kind of make that with the uh, pen tool, so I'm just going to click outside like this, you know, drag it, and kind of do something like this. And then, connect the points. Alright, cool. So, once you have this, go ahead, right click, and make the selection. Go ahead and click OK. It'll make the selection. Now, what you guys want to do is hit Control c or Command-C if you're on Mac make a new layer and put it above the render and then click Control v or command v now basically this will just go ahead and put a layer over the uh, render so now you have this and this is looking pretty good but what we need to do is we need to smooth this out and kind of fade in so it's not like a solid line here so just like we did earlier we're just going to grab the eraser tool and we're just going to kind of erase it, kind of blend this in to the background and with like the banner. So just go ahead and take your time on this and just kind of blend this all in. I'm going to make the brush a little smaller and also make sure your heart is on 0%. And just blend it in like so. Alright, cool. Now, once it's blended in, I did notice that the, I don't really like this position right here. So what you guys can do is again, pretty much just do this again and just blend it in more. So, uh, kind of make this like slightly like bigger, I guess, something like that. Maybe connect the dots, right click, make selection, click OK, control C, make a new layer. Uh, put this one below the original, like the other one, and control V, paste it in there, and just kind of basically do the same thing again. And this will just kind of fix it, make it more straight, I guess. Kind of like that. It helped a little bit. And also, if you don't like how it is looking, like how like the motion of it is, I guess, like the, the shape, you guys can always just completely redo the uh, outline. Now, one last thing that you guys can do is kind of merge these layers, right? Uh, select them both and merge these layers. And then uh, lower the opacity to like 90%, 80%. And as you can see, you can kind of see through it a little bit. But... I think it's too much, so I'm going to go with like 90%, and yeah. 
So as you can see, this looks pretty good. Obviously, it's not as good as it is in here. If you guys want a tutorial on how to make a banner like this, then definitely drop a comment and I will do so. Anyways, guys, that is pretty much it for the tutorial, guys. If you guys like this tutorial, please make sure to drop a comment, like, and subscribe. And I'll see you in the next video, guys. Peace.